Is this ego worth the hype? Or is it just because Ryosu looks so cool in the ego art? Is this ego the savior of bleed teams? Well, probably not the savior of bleed teams. But if you want to learn more about the new Ryosu ego, Contempt Awe, you come to the right place. Hop on and let's analyze the ego, shall we? Contempt Awe is a wow ego, the third ego with multiple coins. After they created an ego with multiple coins, new ones came flooding in, and I'm all for it. It is a last slash ego with a base power of 10 and a coin power of 7. With the ego having 2 coins, it will be a total power of 24. It costs 20 sanities, has 0 bonus offense level, and has a base attack weight of 1. Why did I say base attack weight? Like some other egos, this ego can gain attack weight as well, based on the highest resonance, to be exact, for up to 7 weight. It also gives a status called Gaze of Contempt, based on your highest resonance plus 1. I'll explain Gaze of Contempt later, so stay put. After the attack, if this skill was part of last resonance, it will gain one ego resource in affinities corresponding to each of this unit's attack skills. Let's say that you are using Chef Ryoshu. If she was a part of a last resonance, even when the highest resonance is not last, she will get red, envy, and lost due to her skill affinities. Ryoshu would also lose 10 SP at turn end for 2 turns. This is made so you don't corrupt easily since, without this effect, the ego will have cost 45 SP and corrupt instantly from 0 SP if unclashed. She will evenly inflict 15 bleed potency between all targets or parts if it's an abnormality at her first coin. Her corrosion, or overclock variant, costs 40 SP, has 3 bonus offense level, and only has 1 attack weight. It also targets randomly and is indiscriminate. Before the attack, Ryoshi will instantly get 7 gas of contempt. This variant will also get ego resources based on the ID's attack skill. On her first coin, if the target has bleed, deal up to 60% more damage based on the sum of the target's bleed potency and count. It also gives up to 25 bleed potency, run it down, for the highest resonance. Highest resonance times 2.5 plus 10 to be exact. She will inflict 5 bleed count as well, so if we have 6 resonance, preferably last, Ryoshu will inflict 25 bleed potency and 5 bleed count, which is the highest without any support passives. I think this ego real gem is her passives, called Mark of the Gaze. It gives you one least owed ego resources that Ryoshu will not give every time Ryoshi uses a base attack skill, not Ego. This passive would greatly help people's Refraction Railway run, since most people do not plan ahead with their unit's synth resources. Now, what does the Gaze of Contempt do? It deals 7% more damage for every count, or up to 49% more damage. But it expires next turn if you don't have 7 count of the status. If you have 7 count, it will change into Contempt of the Gaze next turn. You will get 7 protection, 7 damage down, plus 20 aggro, and Ryoshu cannot gain Gaze of Contempt while this effect is in place. Same as Gaze of Contempt, Contempt of the Gaze will expire next turn. In my opinion, this Ego damage is a nice Ego to be had. For the Awakening, it causes a lot of damage and can target a lot of units. Meanwhile, its corrosion gives a tremendous amount of bleed potency and count. While this ego is expensive, costing 14 resources on awakening and 22 on corrosion, it is still very worth it. One trick that people like is letting the ego corrode instead of overclock it on negative SP. Suppose you let it corrode instead of overclocking it. In that case, you will use the same amount of ego resources for the awakening variant. At the same time, the skill is overclocked variant. Having the passives help a lot for the railway run, especially this one, since for most people, one stage can last long enough for the ego to be worth using. Her ego having two coins help damage wise, especially with gaze of contempt. It can deal 74 damage per unit if Ryoshu was in 6 last resonance, giving her 7 gaze of contempt. Times that by 7 units, 
and that's a 518 damage EU. The damage is massive for enemies with times 1 on both attack type and since resistance. Considering you don't need to roll around 8% to get massive damage with your ego. But the end question remains the same for most of you. Is this ego worth pulling or dispensing? I will dispense this regardless or whether it's good or not, just for the passive alone. But for most of you who are watching and don't have those dispensable income boxes, yes, not because of my reason. The reason is that this ego is limited. If you don't dispense it this season, the earliest you can dispense it is at season 6, and that's at least 5 months away from now, or even more. The damage it provides is also terrific. But for pulling, as a firm believer of no pull, I will say no. I feel, as a player, that pulling is a scam, and you can learn more about it in this video right here. The only time you will see me pull is when Walpurgisnacht is there. That's it for the video, thanks for watching. If you have any question, feel free to ask in my Discord or in the comment section. Please subscribe if you enjoyed content like this, and as always, thank you for watching and goodbye!